it's day two of bear baiting season and we are done. We got all 21 baits out and I'm just going to kind of walk you through how it went and overall it went really really well. We did have a couple of snafus but I had a great team and we really got the baits out really fast and really well. Everything went pretty good so I've got uh, I should have added this up, but I'm going to say I got around 120 five-gallon buckets full of trail mix in the wood right now. <laughs> so we got 21 baits that all have a 30 or 40-gallon drum on them. We started out yesterday morning thinking that we were going to get rained on, and but we just decided to go ahead and go. And uh, sure enough, it started to clear off a little bit, and then we got some rain during the night, which probably washed some of the scent down, but not too bad. And we started having bears on the baits right away. I got some cell cameras, the Moultrie mobile cameras on some of the baits, and we literally had bears hitting baits within less than four hours from the time that we put the baits out. And Josh, um, he's hunting about 30 miles from here, and he put a bait out after we got done yesterday, so it was almost dark. And he's got a cell camera on that, and he had eight different bears on it. And the first one was on it 38 minutes after he put the bait out. So that's crazy, but the bears are hungry this year. Uh, they look thin, most of the bears that we're seeing. We're not seeing bears that are really filled out. So I'm pretty encouraged about how this season's going to go. I really think that it's that we're going to get a lot of bears on the baits and they're going to be there regularly but i've got uh, 4200 pounds of trail mix and i don't think it's going to be enough i'm going to probably have to get some more bait i'm definitely going to run out of breads and pastries but so let's let's talk about how this went so we split up into two teams and the one team got their eight baits done by about two o'clock in the afternoon they went out about eight in the morning and uh, they're pretty well spread out and then the team that I was doing I had Skyler with me and Daryl and Sterling and um, our uh, then Virgil just filmed for us so you're gonna see a lot of footage you're watching footage right now that Virgil filmed he's pretty good to the camera so it's really nice to have him along and it's just fun having him in camp. He's such a fun guy to have around and everybody likes him. So uh, I just tell him to come on up and hang out around camp and, and uh, it's, uh, it's just good to have him. About 3.30 before we got done and we ran into only one situation where I stopped at an access where I was going to go back in to put a bait in and there's a truck sitting there with bear bait in the back of it. And so I uh, went about a half a mile down the road to a backup spot and we had to really hack in a spot. That was the only one where we actually were not able to put a bait in where we wanted to the first day. So I had two huge pot roasts in the crock pot all day and we came back and had a big uh, meal of pot roast and mashed potatoes and gravy and uh, Virgil made up a cucumber salad which was really good. So great day. Overall just a really great day and unfortunately we got some rain on some of the baits. Um, we may have to go back and gold rush them again. As you know if you've ever watched what we, the way we do this, we use gold rush, spray it in the trees and uh, then dump some around the barrel and we do that rush in the fryer oil and uh, we just do that the first time that we put out a new bait and then from then on we just carry the sprays which is much more convenient we just hit each bait with sprays every time that we check the baits uh, but we may this year have to put some more gold rush on just we'll just see how this develops over the next couple days if we have a bait or two that doesn't get hit for three four days then uh, we'll gold rush them again because it, it really works okay so that's how yesterday went very very good extremely happy with it everybody i mean just you know, I have everything set up so it's very efficient with backpacks, with lag screws, with impact, a sign, uh, the cameras, the camera boxes, and everything that you need is right there for every single bait. And so we can put baits out in a hurry. And, and if you got a good team of guys that, are, that can carry buckets and carry a barrel and, 
get them in the woods in a hurry, it really works out very, very good. And I'm really fortunate. I keep saying this, but it's really true. I, I got some really good guys that are working with me. So day two started out this morning. Um, we were going to do the north loop. And uh, since this is so much farther away, I, I'm using 40 gallon barrels and we put more bait in them. The, all the baits that we did around here, we put four buckets of trail mix and one bucket of bread and pastries. And we put the bucket of bread and pastries in first, so it kind of plugs up the hole. And then we dump four buckets of trail mix in. But we did more up there because it's farther away and we got a 40 gallon barrel. So we did five to six and we got all those out. And I feel really good about these spots and a couple of them are new spots. And unfortunately we did run into quite a bit more competition up on that North Loop today. In fact, there was one place where we went and we got there today on one of them and somebody had put in a bait literally probably 25 yards from where I was intending to, where I had dropped a pin. We moved that one to a backup spot about a half a mile away and that one took a lot of work because, you know, it just, the spot that we picked just had a ton of brush and popple whips and stuff like that and so it took a lot of clearing of just junk brush and stuff like that. So then we went to the next spot that's, that's only two miles away and there is obvious signs of somebody going back into that area and they went in and went beyond where my bait site is. So I went in there, I didn't follow the trail to see how far beyond mine they went and they could be 200 yards or they could be two miles back in there. Uh, I just, you know, it, it just doesn't make sense for me to take the time to go find out where their bait is. But other than that, we did get all the uh, the five set out, so we got a total of 21 out right now. We got a lot of buckets of bait in the woods, and it's very exciting to watch things happen so fast like they are this year. The bears are hungry, and they are they're coming to the baits really good. So tomorrow, we're going to start checking them, and we'll take buckets of bait with us. I you know, this early, I'd kind of be surprised if any of them are completely cleaned up, but they could be. And uh, there might be some that aren't hit. In fact, I, I'll tell you what, let's kind of have a little fun contest or like for bragging rights. Go to the comment section and guess how many of the 21 baits are going to be hit on the first check. Whether you think it's 21 or 15 or five or whatever just take a guess go to the comments and put a number in there what how many out of 21 do you think are going to be hit and then uh, it'll be kind of fun just to see what people have to say so i hope you enjoyed this and maybe learned something from it and uh, at least understand you know how we do things here and i'm uh, i'm gonna go out and try to shake some crappies loose here this evening and we'll see you in a couple days